Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. This week for Topic Tuesday, we're going to talk about my favorites and my fails for August. And as I alluded to in my empties video, I have way more fails than I do favorites um, this month. And I, I don't, some, it's not product, not all of my fails are products that I just tried this month. Some of them are products that I've been trying to use or work with and I just, I, I just, I've given up. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to bring those to you. So at any rate, let's go ahead and get started. Be I'm going to start with my favorites. Normally I like to get the negative out of the way, but I, I think I'm going to start with my favorites today because I have so many of fails. So the first thing that I want to talk about is kind of this eye look. Um, I have been doing, and, and I've, by the way, thank you for understanding those of you that are on my vlog channel that I'm taking a break from vlogging. Um, we have so, I just have a lot going on at work right now and I just needed to eliminate something. So having said that, I am up very early, I am at work very early. I said the other day on Snapchat, I feel like I ought to be, I ought to just have a cot at work some days. But, so I've been trying to just do very simple, same eye look most days. So what I've been doing for that is going to the things that are in my use it up project. And if you don't know that, I do a, an update on things I'm trying to use up every quarter. Um, and I'll link the most recent one below if you want to see that. But I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. As you can see how I'm doing there. Um, so I've just basically been putting that all over my lid. Then taking my Naked Basics, which is also on my list. And going just, I just leave the Bad to the Bronze. I use a little bit, what is this, of Naked 2 in the crease. Some faint in the outer area of my eye. Not even a V, just, I'm just throwing it on there. <laughs> And then using either um, WS or Foxy on my upper brow bone. And then taking a little bit of Venus because it has a little sparkle to it on the inner corner to kind of blend out where that bad to the bronze, you know, kind of ends into your inner corner. And then faint beneath my lower lash line. And then just putting a little also on my Use It Up Demolition from Urban Decay. And that's that's been it for many, many, many days this past month, and it will continue to probably be that for a while until I do my next four looks one palette. So that's what I've been using when I'm not um, playing with other things that I have right now in my collection, but I mean, at least every other day, that's what's going on my eyeballs. It just, it just works, and it stays put, and it's awesome. Okay, so um, one other eyeshadow that I've been using, sometimes putting on top of Bad to the Bronze, is this Buxom Single Shade. And this is in Style Icon. It's so pretty. I mean, I know. it, But <laughs> it's taupe. But it's really, really pretty. It goes very well over Bad to the Bronze or just by itself. Wears really well. It's just beautiful. So if you're looking for something like that, it, be smarter than I am and get the little compact. And apparently, if you buy, I think it's six of them, it's less expensive because then you get the compact. I missed the boat on that. Of the two that I bought, that's the one that I very much like. I get a lot of com I got a lot of comments the last time I wore this shirt in a video, and um, this is just it's a badger shirt. It's like a baseball style badger shirt. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys that um, because I don't know where I got it, and you can't get it anywhere. So I mean, I shouldn't say you can't, but I have no idea. Anyway, um, it's really early. It's like 5:30 in the morning on Friday, <laughs> and we're having it's you know even more casual than normal today at work. So anyway. Hence the hair up, easy eye, easy shirt, off to work. All right, next favorite. Uh, the next favorite thing that I alluded to this in my empties as well. I I don't know since the Donna Karen when I very first found that that I've ever had a deodorant in my favorites, but I am blown away by this. I have to say I am not a bandwagon jumper usually, but um, I, I'm jumping on. This is the Dove Dry Spray. I don't know about 48 hours, which is what it says, but I, as, you're as you're spraying it on, you're like, really? How is this going to protect anything? I think if you've always used a solid or, you know, if you've always used a non-aerosol style, then you think to yourself, how can this work? But this really works, and it works well. So I just thought I would give this a mention. If, you're, if any of you are curious um, and you don't get any white, you know, residue, I, I like it just thought I would share. And then the last thing I have is a random thing. I can't remember, oops, eyeliner down. I can't remember if I've talked about these before, but you know, I, I really like the convenience of some sort of bar if I'm in a hurry. Whether it's the, they have kind of protein bars from Aldi sometimes there, um, or the Quest bars. I haven't had a Quest bar in a really long time. I think I had them too much and I got sick of them. Um, but this is the Kashi. This is not so much protein, by the way. There is, um, let me just look, 
six grams of protein, which actually for a little bar like this isn't isn't bad. But um, there's seven sugars in here, and there's four fibers, which is really good. And it's, what is it, 140 calories? Okay, for those of you that are curious. But this is the chocolate almond and sea salt, and it's got little chia seeds in there. I really like this. So if you're looking for something to kind of grab, throw in your purse, whatever, I have one of these in my purse at all times. <laughs> so I just thought I would give that a mention. So that really is the end of my favorites. I, as I said, I just didn't have a lot of favorites um, this month. So... Let's move on to the things I'm not appreciating. I will start with makeup and then move to a couple other things. All right. Um, this is the... <laughs> I feel so badly because I... And I know I'm not the only one because I, I mentioned this in a video at some point. I don't know which channel it was on. And lots of people said that I wasn't alone. But So this is the It Cosmetics CC Illumination and then just the CC Cream. I have the shade in Fair on both. And the, they, the, the shade does work for me. But I just can't get these, I can't get them to work for me. People have asked about, and, and I have used them alone, I've mixed them together. I like them mixed together the best, but because there's definitely um, some, I don't, I hate to, I hesitate to say glitter, but there's a little something something in this um, to give that illuminated feel. So I, I really did like combining them together. I felt this one on, a, on its own was just a little bit flat, and this one was a little too much, so together I like them. But... I don't like how it sits on my skin. I don't know. I mean, it's so personal depending on your skin. And I know there are tons of people that love these, but um, I don't like how it sits on my skin very much. And the longevity just isn't enough for me. Um, I think I talked about that. I did a review on this way back when, when it first came out. And, and the longevity just isn't there. It, it lasts for a few, four or five hours, even with a powder over the top. And it just so I tried, I'm, I, I just, and I have a friend that will use these, and I'm going to get those off into the mail to her next week. Uh, okay, one other, <laughs> one other thing that I am the only one uh, that doesn't like this. And this is the Cover Effects Custom Color Drops. I think that's what they, Custom Cover Drops. I had the shade in N20, which was a good shade match for me. I just, I've, I've tried. I've tried. So I won't get into this again because I think that I mentioned this somewhere along the line. Again, I don't remember which channel. I don't think I've done an official I'm done with this, but I, I am. I'm going to send this um, to a friend who is a makeup artist that will get some use out of that. But I, I've tried it with oils. I tried it with primers. I tried it to kick up a foundation um, to add more coverage. I've I feel like I've tried it with everything and I just can't make it work. So, um, all right. A couple of hair things. And I have, you know, I've ha I had quite a little, I always refer to it as a backstock. I've had a backstock of products. And I've slowly been working through some of those. And, and some, of the, some of that backstock was oils. One of them was this that I got in a Lure Beauty Box. And this is the Frizzy's Nourishing Hair Elixir with Argan Oil. And I should have looked before. I don't know how much Argan Oil is actually in this, but this doesn't do anything for my hair. It does not ease the frizz. I, I, and I don't appreciate it. I've used a good amount of it and I'm just, I, I'm giving up. I went back to my macadamia nut hair oil and I could tell the difference in my hair within a few days already. So I tried my best. I'm going to let that go. I don't even really want to give that to anybody because I just don't think it's a great oil. So I'm just going to, we're just going to move on. Okay, I have a couple of dry shampoos again that I've decided not to work through. And both of these do the same sort of thing. So this one is although this one is worse than the other. This is the Style Sexy Hair um, H2 No 3 Shine 1 Hold 3 Day Style Saver Dry Shampoo. It's a really long name. This is terrible. It I, <laughs> I shook and shook and shook just to make sure. Straightened my roots. It just made my roots look uh, oily when it's supposed to be doing the opposite of that. I don't know if it's that it's the, the part of the shine in there. I, I don't know, but... I do not suggest this one by any means. And then the other one, and I ordered this on Holt Look when it when they had a whole bunch of other macadamia and hair oils or hair products. And I love this brand. This is the brand of hair oil that I like. But this is the volumizing dry shampoo, texturize, refresh, revitalize for all hair types. Same thing with this one. It just doesn't. It just didn't do anything for my roots. Um, I, I tried and I tried. <laughs> And I tried different different things and, um, you know, putting it on and then styling it right away. Putting it on and letting sit, letting it sit a little bit. Just, 
It's just not my favorite. The other thing that I noticed with this one that happens with some dry shampoos is I will get um, like pimples in my scalp because it blocks things up, blocks your pores in your scalp, and this one did that for me, so done with that. And then the last thing, and I'm really sad about this because this was not cheap. Those two, this, you know, this I got on Holt Look, and this I'm fairly certain came in an Allure, in an Allure Beauty Box as well. But um, I went to buy my Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press, and they didn't have it, and I had heard things about this Kenra Hot Spray, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and give it a try. So the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press is an aerosol, and this is a pump. This smells really good, but it goes on your hair. When I'm using it, my hair's already dry. So, and I use, when I use the hot off the presses, when I'm going to put some curl into my hair, whether it's just wrapping a few around when I'm leaving my hair naturally wavy, or if it's um, when I'm going to use a bigger curling iron, but whatever, my hair is dry. And then when I put this on, it makes it wet, even though, I mean, I can hold it way the heck out here, and then it doesn't hit my hair. And if I bring it up closer, that, that is too wet. I, so I, I've, I've tried a bunch of things and I don't, I think I have to look if I still, I think I do still have my receipt. I, I think I'm going to return this and I rarely return a hair product. I will just suffer and work through it um, if I can. But now we have a few things I'm going to throw out and this that I'm going to return. I just don't love this. So if you have used this Kenner Hot Spray, I actually should ask Lisa because I think she likes this. If you've used this Kenner Hot Spray, let me know um, what I'm missing, if I'm missing the boat on this. Because I just don't, I don't know. Okay, the last thing that I have is the Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. It's a funny story about this. So I was using this for a few days. So you know that smell when you walk into um, a bedroom where people have just been sleeping for a few, you know, for, for the night, like it's in the morning. And it kind of just has that, uh, musty is not the right word, but just like slept and <laughs> smell. <laughs> Okay, so that's what this made my skin smell like. I, I was walking around my house thinking, why does my house smell like that? <laughs> and it was me. So, I don't, this one was for all light skin tones. Um, I don't know if there's different shades of this or not. But I, I only used it for about three days and I didn't notice anything um, in my skin. And then I find, when I finally figured out that the smell that I was smelling was me, I was like, okay. I'm done with that. And I'm sure it's because there's a little bit of kind of like self tan or something or other in here. But so I tried, it failed for me. <laughs> for those of you that love it, I'm glad that it works for you. Something about that with my body chemistry just does not mix. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing um, a few favorites and things that I am not currently appreciating. Um, and yeah, so I think I told you most of what's, I told you what's on my eyes. For blush today, I am wearing the blush in Delightful, which is, um, if I can get it open, the blush from my Camp Cosmetics Fall Collab, which I'll put the information below if you are interested. There are pre-orders for that. And um, on my lips today, I think that's the only other thing. I have MAC Lip Liner in Half Red with MAC Viva Glam which is almost gone over the top of that and yeah that is everything so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you're having a great day and i will talk to you very soon bye